Hi, my name is Lisa Dish, and I'm grateful for this opportunity to introduce myself. I'm a Democrat running for city council in Ward 1. I've lived here for the past 12 years, and I'm a professor at the University of Michigan in the political science department. You can read more about me at my website, www.votedish.com. I've been having a lot of conversations with Ward 1 voters over the past few months, and one message comes through especially loud and clear. Ann Arbor is changing, and Ward 1 residents feel like they are bearing the brunt of its growing pains. Council can address these problems by ensuring that Ward 1 residents get their fair share of basic city services, like doing a better job regulating traffic on, on residential streets like Barton Drive and Pontiac Trail. These streets were never designed for the number of commuters they're seeing today. I will also work on developing more park and ride capacity along Plymouth Road and other major bus routes. I'm hearing from people that they're frustrated with the lack of communication between city council members and the community. This makes it hard for people to stay informed about initiatives that affect them and their neighbors. I will reach out to residents through newsletters, social media, and open office hours. I'd also like to explore bringing back the ward meeting, virtually, of course. Now, it's important to acknowledge that we're facing a recession, and that means that people are worried about their basic services. I'm committed to ensuring that roads get repaired, that trash gets picked up, and that recycling finds its way to markets. There's another thing that's important to acknowledge is that great as life here, great as life is here in Ann Arbor, Ann Arbor is not an exception. Racial injustice and economic stratification exist here like everywhere else in this country. I'm committed to changing state and local law to enable stronger independent community oversight of policing and to ensure accountability and transparency in cases of police violence. We have an opportunity to completely reimagine how policing is done here, and many in our community want to run with it. I want to be beside them. In closing, I've heard from many people who live in Ann Arbor now that they find themselves on the edge of leaving. For some, that edge looks like their next rent hike. For others, it's their first house because they can afford to rent but not to buy. And for still others, it's their retirement because they've lived here for decades but can't afford to downsize. We can encourage development of new housing opportunities in ways that enhance basic services for everyone, like making it legal to put housing on top of retail in commercial zones outside of downtown. This would give us more neighbors, more taxpayers, and more people to patronize our restaurants and share the cost of the city's basic services. Thank you and take care.